New at 5, city workers in Racine are being forced to take some unpaid days off. That means some city services, including the library, will shut down. And as Todd Hicks reports, even the library's website is going dark. Those furloughs will have a wide ranging impact on the library. Not only will this facility lock its doors for two days, even the website will be shut down to save money. Jessica McPhail has spent her career around books. Never did the director of the Racine Public Library think it could get this bad. And it's very disappointing to have to tell people, I'm sorry, we're going to be closed. People are very upset about it. The city ordered a round of furlough days for workers to save money. McPhail tells me nearly every department is now competing for funds that continue to dwindle. From the city's viewpoint, they have a cap on the amount of taxes they can raise. So we're in competition with police and fire, and it's not fair. I just think it's ridiculous. The number of people that use the library is... It's huge. Luann Wells isn't happy about the unexpected shutdown. She's also frustrated she won't even be able to get on the library's website. McPhail insists because it's operated by library workers, it'll also have to go dark. Some people may be surprised that you would actually have to go to the extent of shutting down the website. They're very angry about that, uh, but they understand there's no staff here. We just can't monitor it. And because of that closure, fines for overdue materials for those two days will be waived. In Racine, Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. Yeah, a lot of people going through furloughs yeah, these that's days. that's for sure. Well, it was cold, rainy, and windy today. It felt a little bit 